Very good morning to all the students. Today we are going to do chapter 11 of your grammar book that is subject verb agreement. Now why it is called an agreement? It is called an agreement because to make a proper meaningful sentence the subject has to agree with the verb. Now and another question comes to our mind that how to agree the subject with the verb? The answer is very simple children. Okay. While making a sentence when the subject is singular then we have to use the singular form of verb and when the subject is plural we have to use the plural form of verb. Okay. Now let us clarify this statement with the help of some examples. The first example is I am eating. Okay. Here the subject is I. It is a singular subject. Okay. So we have to use the singular form of verb that is am. Okay. Example 2. Ram is eating. Here the subject is Ram. Okay. So here it has been used which is a singular form of verb. In third sentence, Ram and I are eating. Okay, here it is the subject is plural. Ram and I makes a plural subject. Okay, so the verb used here is are. Okay, this is the plural form of verb. Children, to understand the subject verb agreement in a much better way, we must have the knowledge about auxiliary verbs or be verbs. Okay. Now, auxiliary verbs, a verb such as be, am, is, are, was, were, has, have, shall, will, been, etc. That is used with main verb to show the verbs tense are called auxiliary verbs or be verbs okay the auxiliary verbs tells about the timing of an action whether it's in the present tense past tense or future tense okay and sometimes auxiliary verbs are used as main verbs also as we have discussed in our previous video about verb Now, let us see about different subjects in English grammar, okay? In English grammar, there are three persons, first person, second person and third person, okay? And there are two forms of each person, singular and plural, okay? The first person singular is I, the one who speaks, okay? And the plural is we. It means when more than one person speak at the same time. Okay. Second person is, second person singular, you. Means the one who listens to the first person. You. Okay. So the singular form is you and the plural form is also you. But this is plural. Here, more than one person are listening. And in singular form, only one person is listening okay and third person the third person means about whom singular and first person and second person are talking okay so the third person can be he she it or any singular name by saying singular name i mean any single name like ram syam gita all right, or name of any object, material, place, anything, but it should be singular. Okay, and in plural form of third person is they, that we can talk about more than one person at a time. So, they or plural names like Ram and Syam. All right, or we can talk about more than one place at a, at a time or more than one material. Or more than one animal. Alright. So that is 
plural form. Now let us see how different persons are used as subjects with different auxiliary verbs, verbs in different tenses in singular and plural forms. Okay. In first person singular. Okay. I. The first person singular is I. So I will be used as subject. Okay. So in present tense, we use the first form of verb. For example, I play cricket. Okay. The first form of verb is used. In past tense, it becomes I played cricket. The second form of verb is used. In present continuous tense, we add an auxiliary verb am. Okay. And the fourth form of verb is used. All right. And the sentence becomes I am playing cricket. In past continuous tense, the auxiliary verb was is used. Okay. And the fourth form of verb and sentence is I was playing cricket. Okay. In future tense, the auxiliary verb shall is used along with the first form of verb and sentence becomes I shall play cricket. Okay. Now, in first person plural, that is we, when we is used as a subject. In present tense, the sentence becomes we play cricket, quite similar to the first person singular. Now see, in past tense, it is we played cricket, just same as the first person singular. Okay, only the subjects are different. Now, in present continuous tense, here we have to add auxiliary verb are and fourth form of verb and sentence becomes we are playing cricket. Okay, in first person singular, it was I am playing cricket. And in first person plural, it is we are playing cricket. Now, in past continuous, we add the auxiliary verb verb and the fourth form of verb playing. It is we were playing cricket. Okay. Now, in future tense, we add the auxiliary verb shall. Okay. And the first form of verb and sentence becomes we shall play cricket. It's quite